here we have um, I'm basing this off of a 550 pound squat so it's relatively high in terms of percentage of my max squat earlier in the week I like to go a higher percentage and belt off some triples get those plates rattling let everybody else in the gym know you mean business so keep the collars off it also lets everybody else know there's a douchebag working out and it turns into a bit of a good morning but uh, I was getting a little bit tired this is uh, the third set of three doing a little huffing and puffing here <laughs> it takes your breath away literally It's important when you do the squat to keep your chest up. Uh, it's going to help you maintain balance. Um, it's the only way you're going to fight through some of the heavier weights if you can do squatting. So pause squats are good uh, because if you aren't properly in the proper position by the time you're in the hole and you pause in the hole for three seconds, you're not coming back up. So it's going to help you find your plane. So I always like to incorporate pause squats. Uh, the weight is obviously quite a bit less than I do with my regular squats. But the weight is going to end up on your back for a lot longer time. And there's a three second pause. That's a healthy pause right there. That'll also hit your central nervous system. See the gentleman beside me has a totally different game plan. Got to keep the elbows down, head up, chest up. Let the knees flare out to the sides. And don't let the back bend. With this kind of weight, the back shouldn't bend. There should be no excuses. Heavier weight, you're going to see a little bit of back bend. These should not be turning into good mornings. And later on in the week, a little bit of deadlifting. Six plates aside. You didn't lift it, how do you know? I made a promise to myself I'm going to be putting six plates aside in my hands as much as possible. So even if you're doing doubles, fine. Do five doubles, you got six plates aside in your hand for 10 reps that workout. So just keep it in your hands, keep going back to it. It's only going to make you stronger, your central nervous system is going to get hit. Now my head goes right up like a tomato when I'm doing these. But they move smoothly. Ah, I've seen something I didn't like. I chastise this young man. So here's a mistake some lifters do is uh, they don't rock backwards and throw the weight on the hams and the glutes. He's getting the hang of it. Another go at six plates a side, that's 585 pounds. Just some doubles, nothing too crazy, it doesn't overly tax me. So my nervous system gets hit, but I'm not overtraining. So I take the next day assistance, and I can come right back to hitting it heavy. It's not too much to handle. And here's a different view from behind. Uh, it's metaphorically speaking because my competition can kiss my ass. No, um, I'm not too sure why we did this. Artistic, I think. See, my hips are relatively high here. I'm a back dominant lifter. Are you, you camera shy? 
Sorry. Now here's my lady friend. Um, I like to do later on the week because if you do too much too often in terms of just doubles, I mean you're not going to get the volume in there and you need volume. So a lot of times I'll prescribe sets of 10. Um, I heard some people say this is like a CrossFit style workout. Watch your mouth. This is powerlifting. Nothing wrong with a little bit of volume. Here and you see my girlfriend CT Fletcher hat. She's pretty happy about that. Um, here is a little bit of uh, some trap work, and it'll definitely increase the grip strength. And I'm telling you, my traps were on fire after this one. When I lift up, squeeze, squeeze for a couple seconds. Don't just pull it up and drop it. Pull it up, squeeze it at the top. You'll feel it. I had my buddy Alex and uh, the lady friend strip a plate, rock back in there. Hold it up the top. That bar will never come out of your hands for a deadlift after you do these uh, on a regular basis. You'll hate life for that 30 seconds, but you'll be glad you did. And it's probably more than 30 seconds. This is going to take a couple of minutes. I mean, that's a long time to be straight lifting weights over and over and over with no rest. So you'll feel it. You know if the next day it feels like you're in a car accident when you turn your head from side to side to look, you did it right. You're doing something right. Starting to lose a little steam here. This is around one or two plates aside, and it probably still is burning. And this is how you blow up your traps, too. On a bodybuilding side of things, that's how you're gonna get bigger traps, as well as a better grip strength. CT!